All right, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to set up a router in Express. So let me explain what exactly a router is. So when it comes to larger applications, you oftentimes want to split up your application using what's called a router. And what that allows you to do is allows you to actually separate concerns with every single uh, endpoint in its own file. So it allows you to create more modular, more reusable uh, pieces inside your application. And it makes it more maintainable. So instead of having all of our routes inside one single file, like our index.js file, we can actually move them into separate files. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Express Router. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to call it routes. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll actually take every single one of the route, every single one of our routes that we have implemented so far, and we're going to move it inside a router. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll create a new file and I'll call this groceries.js. Now inside groceries.js, I'm going to go ahead and import from the express library. I'm going to go ahead and import the router and it's a function. Okay, and similar to the express uh, express function call, we can also call the router as well. Now, similar to what we did when we called the express function, we can do that with router because it's literally just a function. And when we call this function, it's going to give us an instance of a router. So let's go ahead and call router. Okay. Now, this router instance is pretty much similar to the Express app instance, okay? You can literally do the same exact stuff that you would do with the app instance for the most part. So, for example, if you want to register middleware for this router, you can do that. And what, that will, what will happen is it will only register the middleware for this specific router, okay? If you want to register... Uh, routes as well using a get request post request or anything you can do it as well okay so let's go ahead and migrate all of our current routes into our groceries router so let's start off with uh this so what i'll do is i'm just going to copy and paste this and i'm going to move this inside the groceries.js file and instead of referencing app we're going to reference router obviously because we no longer have reference to app anymore because we're in a separate file. Okay. I'll also move the grocery list uh, constant into the groceries.js file. Okay. So let's go ahead and just change all references to app. And that should pretty much be it uh, for our routes. So right now, if we try to call our endpoints, it's not going to work. It would actually just give us back a 404 not found. And the reason why is because we'll, well, we have our router, right? But we have not actually uh, registered it with our main Express app. So what we need to do is we need to export the router uh, from our groceries.js file. We got to go ahead and import it inside the main application and register it. So let's first export by doing module.exports equals router. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to import that up top over here. And I'm going to go ahead and import that from slash routes slash groceries. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and after all of my middleware, so right underneath, uh, so right underneath this latest middleware function, I'm going to go ahead and call app.use. And what I'm going to do is I can actually just pass in the router like this. Okay. So now that we've registered the router, Express actually knows about this router and we can actually call the endpoints. So I can go ahead and call slash groceries. Let's try slash groceries slash milk. And I can also uh, make a post request. Okay, 
And let's call the endpoint again. And we can see that we get bananas. There we go. Now, one thing that we can also do when we register our route is we can actually prefix it with, uh, we can actually prefix the endpoint with any any uh, anything we want. So let's say, for example, before we uh, before we specify the groceries route, we can do something like slash API, which is a very common thing that companies do when they have uh, APIs that you can call. They'll prefix it. They'll prefix every single endpoint with slash API. So now if I try to call our routes, it's going to give us a 404 not found. And the reason why is because we need to prefix it with slash API because this groceries this groceries route is prefixed with slash API because we register it right over here on line 15. So if I go ahead and click send, you're going to see it gives me back a 200. Uh, let's see what's going on here. There we go. Okay. So you can see that it gives me back. It gives me back the grocery list. Okay. If I change this to, you know, slash API slash say version one, right? We're going to have to obviously prefix it with version one. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all about this is pretty simple because right now we have all of our grocery routes inside a router, right? Now, instead of actually repeating every single uh, every single route with the groceries prefix, right? What we can actually do is we can actually just prefix it right over here with slash groceries, okay? And then we can go ahead and just remove all of the groceries prefix inside our router, okay? Uh, so we can just have it as slash. I think we actually also need, I actually, I don't think we really need the slash. Let me remove that and see what happens. So we're prefixing it right over here. So slash API slash V1 slash groceries. Okay. So what's going to happen is it's going to prefix this router with this prefix right over here with this route prefix. Okay. And so what's going to happen is it'll take all these routes. So this, uh, this route over here is going to basically be accessed by just calling slash API slash V1 slash groceries. Okay. Similar to how we had it before when we didn't have a router. So notice how right now it's giving me back the grocery list. Okay. If I go ahead and pass an item, Uh, let's see, it seems like we actually need to add the slash. Yeah. Uh, and if we do the post request, at least for the route parameter we do, but for the others, I don't think it matters, but I'll add it anyways, just to be consistent, because I don't want to get confused. But let's go ahead and add bananas. We got a 201 created, and we go ahead and see the updated grocery item, grocery items array, and there you go. So that's how we can prefix our route. So that way we don't have to keep on adding it every single time. So it becomes a lot more cleaner. Okay. Uh, so hopefully this makes sense. Now let's go ahead and just quickly create one more router just so we can better understand the whole concept of this. So let's create another router. We'll call this stores or actually let me call it markets.js. So this will represent a supermarket uh, kind of like, you know, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Walmart, uh, Target, et cetera, et cetera, right? Because these uh, these stores, these markets sell groceries, okay? So we'll literally do the same thing that we did in groceries.js inside markets.js. So we're going to go ahead and create, well, first let's import the router first. And then let's go ahead and create an instance of router. And then let's go ahead and just export it. And let's just set up some routes. So since this is the markets route, we're not going to go ahead and prefix all of the endpoints with slash markets in the router. We're going to do that in the app level. So in the index.js is, is where, where we'll do it. So let's set up a simple get request. So this endpoint is going to give us a list of supermarkets. 
Okay, so I'll just go ahead and just create a simple array. And uh, this will just be an array of objects. We'll just go ahead and call this name. I'll call it store. Uh, do Whole Foods. And then we'll do one for Trader Joe's. Wait, hold on. I know I know it needs the exclamation mark, but I'll leave it like that for now. And we'll do one for uh let's see. Uh Albert Sims. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just return that array. And now we need to register our router, our markets router. So we're gonna go ahead and import that up top over here and we'll register it right underneath over here so markets markets route now let's save it and if i go ahead and i try to reference slash api slash v1 slash markets it's going to give me back our array of supermarkets and of course, if we want to implement other endpoints in our router, we can also do that as well. And we would call those endpoints accordingly based off of the, uh, the route path. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much it for this episode when it comes to routers in Express. Hopefully, this makes sense and hopefully you can understand why having a router is very, very useful. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.